So we're really fortunate here in California that running along our coast is one of the wildest places on Earth, the California Current. And what we've learned is right here may be one of the hottest places on the planet. Oh, beautiful fish. Look at this. We've been following these sharks for almost 25 years. The electronic tags allow us to follow where the sharks go. They also allow us to, to know when they arrive at our coast. The Monterey Bay White Shark Project has brought together a consortium of local researchers who are working together to track the movements of these predators and to census their numbers. And together, we're trying to understand the interactions of predator and prey, the sharks, the pinnipeds, and how they interact within the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary and their movements into the offshore Pacific waters. To really understand the white sharks here in Monterey Bay, we also need to understand what their prey are doing. So the Block Lab looking at the white shark movements here, but we have other collaborators at UC Santa Cruz and the University of Washington that can provide the expertise to understand the prey. The Monterey Bay White Shark Project is, a, is an outgrowth of an earlier program that we had here with Barbara Block and, and the Monterey Bay community of the tagging Pacific predators. The question with this research project is to see the relationship between where most of the sea lions and seals are and to see if that's what is driving the presence of the sharks. Do the white sharks track the major areas along the coast where we have the most sea lions and the most seals? But amazingly, we don't know that yet. We're building a surveillance system in our neighborhood where we can actually pick up the animals as they swim by the buoys and an acoustic tag will send an underwater signal that's detected by the buoy. It goes up to an Iridium satellite and immediately down to our iPhone where we can actually keep track of which sharks are swimming by. Over the past 30 years, we've done a tremendous job learning about where white sharks are along North American shores and building in protections that help preserve these populations. Once they migrate offshore, however, they're exposed to international fisheries. And we're thinking about what level of international protection is required to ensure these sharks have a future in our ecosystem in Monterey Bay.